Hey guys and welcome to another review. Today we're reviewing the G18 Carbon Black. Well, the G18 Carbon Black is a new GP pistol and it has 35 damage, 90 portability, 45 rate of fire, 62 accuracy, 59 recoil, it's fully automatic or it's a 3 burst and it has 15 over 30 bullets. And this weapon compared to its GP default, the normal G18, the normal G18 has 33 damage, 90 portability, 45 rate of fire, 60 accuracy, 60 recoil, it's single fire or 3 burst and it has the same magazine with 15 over 30 bullets. So the G18 Carbon Black has 2 more damage, 2 more accuracy and 1 less recoil. Now let's go on to the recoil test. Now for the recoil test. As you can see, this weapon does not have a lot of recoil, but it still does go up a little bit. Um, you can easily hold this weapon back to give it minimum recoil. As you can see, it's it's absolutely nothing when you try and hold it back. And holding it back doesn't have doesn't take a lot of effort. And when you three burst this weapon, the recoil is barely anything, and it's just a straight line. So that's really helpful. So before we really go on to the stats of the weapon, I want to make something clear. You've got fast shooting pistols slower high damage pistols and the slow pistols the fast shooting ones are the G18 the K5SD the slower ones are the USP the high damage still faster pistols and you've got the slow ones which are the Anacondas and I'm mainly going to compare this weapon with the fast and the medium pistols so that you know so at 35 damage this weapon is slightly above average for the faster shooting weapons and uh, 35 damage makes it a 4 hit kill. It's possible 3 hit kill on light fast, but they're mostly in the back. And 35 isn't that high for pistols, really. They have pistols with way higher damage. But still, 35 is quite a lot of far more damage for a fast shooting pistol. So the damage is really good. And because it's a fully automatic pistol, it makes it even better. Uh, with 90 portability, it's just on plain average. Pretty much. All the fast shooting, even the medium pistols, have 90 portability. Hey, it's a pistol, it's a fucking Russian weapon. That's just what it is. 90 portability is really average, but it's really good because it's up to the top tier portabilities in the game. 45 rate of fire. A 45 rate of fire is actually a bit below the rate of fire for the fast shooting pistols. The normal ones have got around 48. This one has 45. Well, 45 is still really fast. As you can see in the review, the pistol is just a fucking chainsaw summit with the speed. It's absolutely fast. I've experienced me getting out of ammo before making a kill because I've got feel aim when I frap sometimes and the weapon shoots so fast. It's absolutely amazing the speed. It's just Ah, oh, it's amazing. Well, 62 accuracy. 62 accuracy is... Well, it depends really on what pistol you're using. It's quite on the average. It's just slightly above by about 2-3 points. 62 accuracy is a bit lower. You've got pistols that are way more accurate like the USB, the Anacondas. Uh, but this weapon is truly a close quarter combat. Hence, it's fully auto. It's low in damage. It's really fast shooting. Uh, accuracy, it lacks in. It can't even shoot across the map in Jung Flea, but then again, it's a pistol you don't need to shoot across the map in bigger maps. So, this weapon accuracy lacks in long ranges, but it's marvelous for medium and close quarter combat. So, it is actually a bit too low for a pistol, but it's still really good. 59 recoil, well, 59 recoil is higher than the fast shooting pistols, but it's fully auto again, so fully auto makes it a bit more uncontrollable and a bit harder to use. The other ones have got about 55, so that's four, pint, four points lower. This one uh, has a bit of a high recoil, but as you could have seen in the recoil test, when you try and hold the recoil back, it's absolutely nothing. But then again, 59 recoil compared to the USP 70 recoil is still very low. So if you can play with the USP, you can play with this pistol as well. Most definitely you can. So this concludes my review on the G18 Carbon Black. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for more, of course. See you guys later. Bye.